Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. Today I want to show you just a few uh, uh, bloopers. We all have them. Uh, I do a blooper video about once a year. It takes me, takes me a little while to accumulate a few. I don't have quite as many as I used to. And bloomer, uh, bloopers don't have to necessarily get you hurt. Uh, they're not necessarily accidents. Accident is an unwarranted transfer of energy. Uh, but the key is when you have one and we all get them, is look at what you've done do a little forensics analysis, figure out exactly what went wrong, why it went wrong, and how do you prevent it from happening again. Sixteenth of an inch. Too much steel, and I guess I didn't have a clamp tight enough. Yeah, you know, let's do a little forensic analysis, and you can see where I got a catch where it's just too much steel on that dried wood. Um, but no, no damage. I'm gonna use this. Something small. My issue is I never tightened up my chuck. <laughs> so let's we'll do that this time. And we'll be able to just get rid of that little eighth inch parting tool. But... Leave far back and forth. So it doesn't bind. Whoa, that was exciting. That'll show up on a blooper video. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use a uh, finish drilling a depth hole in there using a uh, 5 16 inch hole. And let's see how deep. I think I better mark that with some tape. Laying this on top. The tenon is going to be part of the bottom, the bottom of this. So I'm not going to remove the tenon. I'm just going to reshape the cup. So I will actually use that. Whoa! That wasn't pretty. Tapped it here and with the propeller coming around. <laughs> Gotta be careful. Well, there goes that idea of that blending in. I guess. Need to snug it down just a little bit more. I didn't didn't want to get teeth marks. I guess I better tighten it up just a little bit. Okay guys, we're going on a road trip. I'm going up to visit my wood turning buddy John Lang, who's a member of my wood turning club, and he's graciously offered to help me.
Okay, as you guys probably know, I like to sign the bottom of my work with my name, the species, and, and the year uh, with a pyrography pen. But you got to pay attention to what you're doing and not go into idle mode or you wind up with mistakes like this. And I think I'm probably getting pretty close to that reaching a point where it'll break off. And this is perfectly parallel, the perpendicular is normal when you the bottom. That was dramatic. Uh, that blank flew 10 feet in the air. But it was undamaged. Now, there are ways you can deal with that. You can bring up tailstock support. Or, in this case, the reason it failed is, I hope. I think I can clean that up. It looked like it had a uh, bit of a, let me do a close up. You can tell down here there was a pitch pocket that caused that to, to break loose, but it, I should have stopped it right then and gone ahead and popped it and I could have taken that out. But anyway, that'll give me a nice little bowl. Uh, with some beautiful burl in it. I just hope this pitch pocket doesn't go too far down, but but I've this was a fairly shallow bowl, so I've got you know much more depth to to cut. And and that's it. Okay, I hope you enjoy uh, uh, getting a few laughs out of the mistakes that I've made. Don't when you make some, try to figure out what happened. Y'all stay safe. Come on back here.